Now we have finally come to our last step that we have all been waiting for. We were collecting hydrogens and electrons this whole time so that we could reach our cashier at the end and cash them out for a bunch of energy. And remember, we said that cashier was the electron transport chain. So now we are at this cashier and we can go ahead and cash out those hydrogens and electrons for energy. So let's go ahead and take a look at how that would happen. So the electron transport chain actually occurs in the inner membrane of the mitochondria. And what's happening is those coenzymes that were collecting all of the hydrogens and electrons are going to come dump them into the electron transport chain, in particular into the inner compartment over here. Now, what we want is we want the hydrogens that were dumped into the inner compartment to actually move to the outer compartment because if they're over here they can come down using this pump and when they go through this pump that actually generates ATP. So again the coenzymes will deliver hydrogens and electrons to the electron transport chain. They will be dumped into the inner compartment but we want the hydrogens to move to the outer compartment so that they can come down using this pump and generate ATP. But the problem is that this outer compartment is more highly concentrated than the inner compartment, which means that it's going to take some energy to move the hydrogens up here. So that's where our electrons are going to help us out. The electrons are going to be able to generate some energy for us when they move down the membrane using these electron carriers. So we have these electron carriers in the membrane. As the electrons move through the electron carriers, that generates just enough energy to move our hydrogens across the membrane so that they can come back down using this pump and generate ATP. So again, let's recap one more time. The coenzymes are going to deliver hydrogens and electrons to the electron transport chain. They are going to end up in the inner compartment, but we want them to come to the outer compartment so that they can use the pump to make ATP. That is going to require energy, so the electrons will move down the membrane using electron carriers because that will generate enough energy to move the hydrogens to the outer compartment where they can come back down using the pump and that will generate ATP. Now, this pump over here has a few different names. You might have heard of it before as ATP synthase because it makes ATP. But for the purpose of this class, we're just going to refer to it as the protein complex pump. Now, at this point, we have completed all of the steps of metabolism. This here is a good diagram to look at. It shows you all of these steps together, starting off from the very beginning all the way down to the electron transport chain.